we come up for a head shaker here. Take my mark here. There's your little head shaker. On today's Sportsman's Adventures, we travel to beautiful Sarasota on Florida's west coast. This cosmopolitan city sits on magnificent Sarasota Bay, where tall buildings shine in the setting sun. Sarasota is also famous for its beautiful beaches, which bring sunbathers from around the world. But it's just beyond these sunny beaches and the sunburned bathers that we find Captain Rick Murphy and his special guests, Sarasota fishing guide Captain Stacy Caps and 12-year-old Mike Benetti from Chicago. These guys have come for more than just the sun and the sand. They're here for the Silver King, the huge schools of tarpon that roll and splash just off the shell-studded shoreline. See the school beyond, for sure? Oh, I thought you were looking at this bait pod right here close. No, the school of fish is behind the bait pod. All right, Rick, I'm going to bait these rods up real quick. All right. You want to throw the motor in the water? Yeah, we're going to have to put it down. Ooh, there. We're going to have to slide it all the way down in the short shaft. Tailing. Mikey, you ready? Let's see if we can get a shot on him. All right. All right, you walk to the front with this. Walk to the front. Here, to the side. They're, not, they're moving nice and slow, Stacy. You ready? Can we throw it in there for you, Mikey? Stop it right there, Rick. Hmm? Hmm. All right, hit him now, hit him now. All right, Mikey. All right. You know what to do. Hold it up high, reel if he gets it. Try not to move it, Murph. Just let it set. Reel a little bit, Mike. Mike, reel a little bit. Reel a little bit. You got him, Mikey? Yeah. Mikey, you feel anything? Oh. You oh. got crushed. I All right, Mike, reel that one in. Look. Mikey, Mikey, Go, Mikey, Mikey, real. Mikey, 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 Keep it high, keep it high, keep it high. Keep it high, keep real, keep real. Watch your <laughs> You got a bite, buddy. And all we want to do here, guys, is keep the rod bent. Keep the rod bent. There's Stacy. Can we hand that one? All right, bud. Yep. Hey, there's a big wiggle on the end of that rod. Something's wrong with that rod. I think we need to take it back to the store. What do you think? This does something seems to be a little out of adjustment, don't you think? <laughs> He's trying to stay with the school. The fish is staying with the school. What would you like for me to do, Stacy? Or get on the trolling motor and let's just follow him. Let's just All stay right. with him. All right, here we go, Mikey. <clears throat> Good job, bud. You got the bite, got him on, he jumping there. And I got a bite and missed him. How do you like that? I'm gonna... All right, Mikey, let me get that belt for you. Keep it tight, just keep it tight. Good Mike, job. Keep it... Now, what's the biggest tarpon you ever caught, bud? Uh, 95 pounds of it. 95. All right, that's a big one. A lot bigger than you, huh? Yep. We don't even need to do any pump and reel at this point. We just want to keep the rod high and reel. Keep, keep reeling if you let you reel. I got a lot you smaller than the guy I had yesterday. Just tighten this thing up. All right, get it in there. 
All right, keep it tight. Well, that's 36 volts of trolling motor to get to going, doesn't it? <laughs> keep your balance there. Got a little small this morning. You all right? Yep. Guarantee I told you, Murph. <laughs> I'm glad you did. What you see on these, uh, Murph missed a bite. <clears throat> what happens with these fish that are going this slow, uh, we're gonna put these crabs in them again. We're gonna put it right in their face. They're not gonna run up and get it and run away. They're gonna eat it in their face. So all you're gonna see on these fish, Just what we wanna do is cast out there, watch your line. All you're gonna see is that line's gonna jump about five inches. That's it. It's not gonna come tight, and the fish is gonna go scream, screaming off. Mikey really didn't even feel his bite, I don't think. He was reeled a little bit, and he was tight. You're not gonna see much of a bite. I felt the bite, and you didn't, felt a little bitty jump hook. in the I line. I felt a little dunk. And, if you, and what happens with these fish out here, if you don't get on them right away and reel, you're gonna bring back a corner of a crab or a crushed crab or a shell or an empty hook. Right. Don't ask me how it happens. They can take that crab off the hook and give you your hook back and you'll never feel it sometime. We're gonna throw another one in here, Stacy? I think right now, we're, this is a pretty good sky school of fish. I think our, we'd be best off to get, try to get this fish out of the school. Okay. Uh, try to catch this one. All right. And uh, get back around on them and get another one. What do you think those people up there swimming and fishing, what they think about you got this big fish on, huh, Mikey? Well, when you get in a little closer, uh, I've heard everything from, he's got a dolphin on, and I've heard, oh, it's a shark. Okay, he's running right in the sun on us. There you go. All right, all right, you had him on the side there lines underneath him. Yep. Yep. Fish. Oh no. That line no, that's it. That line went underneath him. Yeah, we got him wrapped up. We got him wrapped up. And there's, your, there's your shake. Just wore through, bud. Yeah, it's all right. We'll get another one. Get ready. That's what I was telling you guys about the bite. You feel that bite right away. Now, you can. some days you can't help it, but you feel that bite right away, and that hook gets pinned right on his nose and his top lip. That doesn't happen. But if he gets, you know, this is 80-pound fluorocarbon. If he gets it inside of his mouth, the fish is changing in direction. He's basically just sawing through this leader. Uh, Mikey almost had the release there. We almost had the leader there. Let's get back around and get another one. Oh, I think I gotta buy Mikey this time. What do you think? Seven Mile Bridge near Marathon, Florida. A three knot tide, a 16 foot boat, and Tarpon, Tarpon, the armored king of Florida game fish. No, there are no words to describe it all. Even pictures like these leave out more than we'd like to leave out. Like the swirl and suck of the water as a fish released, gathers his wind, moves majestically away. Those are some of the things you can't get either in words or in pictures. Once you've boated a couple of these silver dynamos, well, that's it. And that's tarpon fishing. And the action that Silver King, and Silver King alone, can supply. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rapala. Williamson Lures, Maverick Boats, Minn Kota, Humminbird, La Jolla Resort, Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure. So, which one are you thinking about? I can't decide between Sumo and Gladiator. Well, Sumo has incredible balance thanks to his low center of gravity. Although, you can't go wrong with Gladiator. No one is braver or stronger than he is. I think you should choose Gladiator. I'll take Sumo. 
Rapala. Extreme Action X Rap. Extreme Netmen sold separately. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask charter boat captain and tournament angler George Mitchell. No matter where I fish, I know I've got the strongest, most reliable outboard there is. For 25 years, Yamaha's innovative technology has produced the best outboards in the water. Tournament after tournament, win after win, the Yamaha F350. Power, reliability, and fuel efficiency. Yamaha, because your best investment starts right here. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. The new Riptide SF from Minn Kota. Its ruthless new mount features an anodized aluminum mono arm with uncompromising strength. A counter-tension stabilizer with no play and no give for whisper quiet operation. And lift assist for effortless stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough. It's battle tested to help you tear through everything from heavy chop to corrosive salt water. Riptide SF, the assault on salt has begun. I'm Captain Rick Murphy, and when I'm in the Florida Keys, I stay at the La Jolla Resort in Isla Mirada, a place for families and fishermen. The La Jolla is located on the bay at mile marker 82.2 and has easy access to the Everglades. The flats of Isla Mirada and the offshore reefs are just minutes away. The La Jolla Resort has great dockage, boat ramps, barbecue pits, and swimming pools. So whether your group is small or large, the La Jolla can take care of all your needs. Captain Stacy Caps is a Florida native who's been fishing Florida's west coast for the last 15 years. He specializes in light tackle angling for the big inshore four, snook, trout, redfish, and of course, tarpon. 12-year-old Mike Benetti from Chicago has been fishing with Captain Stacy since he was only four years old. And he shows us that, well, he never gives up. I think you got a bite, buddy. <laughs> Got him, Mikey? Oh, Mikey. Got a boy, Mikey. Got a boy, Mikey. Keep it high. Keep it high. I'm going in. I'm going in. Keep it tight, Mikey. There we go. Forget two. All right, let's see, what we're, let's see what we're picking on this time. Get on up here, fish. Come on, get over here. We're gonna let you go. Get ready, get ready. All right, maybe come up for a head shaker here. Let's take a number of here. There's your little head shaker. Keep holding the rod there. It's a tough fish. You did yeah, good. It is. All right. We'll turn, we'll turn the boat here so we can get some sunlight on. Get him, Rick. All right. I got it. Oh. 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 Oh man. He's caught. There Great he is. Job, Mikey. Oh. Wow. That's a good little fish. I'm gonna pull this. Here, I'll take the rod, Mikey. I'll take the rod. Uh, all right. Oh, they hooked just popped out of them. Perfect. That's it. <clears throat> all right. Stacy, if you want to troll. turn that Minn Kota on, get... we'll do a little artificial respiration here. There we go. I'll hold him until I think he's good. What do you think, Mikey? Hey! Yeah. Oh, you the man! That turning those caps around, we finally had to get Stacy with us on that, you know? Yep. Once we got Stacy on the program, it was good to go. Look at how that fish's eye rotates towards us when we turn him. He's looking up at us saying, please let me go, Captain Rick. Please. There he goes. He's ready. 
I give him a little pat. There we go. All right. Hey, it only you're the man. Yep. You ever thought of having your own TV what? show? <laughs> no? Well, that's good. That means I still got a job. <laughs> good job, bud. Way to save Thanks. me. Here we go, Mikey. Seven, Seven lights. lights. Got one to the boat. All right. There we go. We're on the board. I can better see where you're grabbing at the time. Come on, chicky. It's over. Oh, oh, I think I got to buy Mikey this time. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, he's coming he's at tight. me. He's tight. He's coming at me. Better go there. to the back. Ugh. Oh, he's a big one. And he's not happy. I think we made him mad. I didn't, I didn't mean to hook a big one. <laughs> yeah, I like them 75, 80 pounds. I'm too old for these big ones. <laughs> this big one was supposed to be for Mikey. Any man comes around with his hat turned backwards can take on a big one. <laughs> Do I need to turn my hat around backwards, you think? To catch him? Sure. What do you think? You think it'll help? Sure. Try it? <laughs> all right, I'm putting on my hat backwards. I'm going with my rally cap. All right, here we go. Start pulling again. All right, all right, all right. I got my hat on backwards, Mikey. It doesn't seem to be helping. There he is. Hey. through. No, it broke into double. <laughs> Does it make it work, boys? What are you going to do, man? Broke into double. We'll get one. We'll get one. Uh -oh. He might get one. <laughs> I'm taking the time out. Oi. Oh, you know the How big agony of defeat? Was? I'm feeling it right now. Oh. Whoa, Mikey, you picked a big one. This Conservation Minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is reminding anglers about some existing rules for the safe handling of fish that you're planning to release. Light tackle fishing is great fun, but if you're releasing your catch, be sure that you use heavy enough tackle to land the fish as quickly as possible. This helps the fish recover quickly and gives it a much greater chance for survival. After you catch the fish, try to leave him in the water and use a dehooking device. If you do have to take the fish out of the water, pick him up horizontally so you won't damage its internal organs. Revive a tired fish by holding it in the water and moving it forward with its mouth open to allow water to flow over its gills. And if you use live bait, be sure to use non-offset barbless circle hooks. It's more important than ever to release those fish in as good a condition as possible. The next angler will thank you for it. To learn more about the correct way to release your catch, log on to myfwc.com. At Contender. We've specialized in building high-performance, top-quality, custom-made boats for more than 25 years. Contender has redefined what a fishing boat can be, and we are committed to producing the finest fishing boats in the world. And there has never been a better time to get a great deal on our entire line of Contender boats. Be sure to check out our new generation team models, the 27, 31, and 33, all available with optional forward seating. We're looking forward to welcoming you into the Contender family of boats. Patented in 2000, perfected over years of testing and real-world punishment, the Powerpole is the ultimate shallow-water boat positioning tool. Swift, 
Power Pole deploys in seconds from anywhere in your boat. Virtually silent, Power Pole won't spook wary fish. Secure in strong current or gusting winds in up to eight feet of water. Engineered to take it with a lifetime unconditional replacement guarantee on the spike. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Visit PowerPole.com to find a dealer near you. I've been fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen a 180-pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait. And I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. I've seen a lot, and a lot has changed except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical pulling skiffs, high-speed backcountry skiffs, and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick, or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. Hey there. Like your extreme net man? I love my sumo. How about you? Yeah. Wizard net man's awesome. Well, see you out there. Rapala. Extreme Action X Rap. Extreme net men sold separately. Has your Florida fishing or hunting license expired and you need it renewed now? No problem. The FWC has several services that will allow you to buy your license instantly. No matter where you are, in the woods or on the water, all you need is a major credit card. For a small additional service fee, you can purchase these licenses directly online or simply by calling a toll-free number. To get your instant license online, log on to myfwc.com or call toll-free 1-888-FISH-FLORIDA or 1-888-HUNT-FLORIDA. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask Captain Buddy LaPointe. In the charter business, I can't afford downtime. My Yamaha 150 four-stroke is the most dependable, trouble-free outboard I've ever run. This clean-burning, quiet, fuel-efficient Yamaha four-stroke is the most versatile outboard in the Yamaha lineup. So invest in the best, the clean, quiet, dependable Yamaha F-150. Yamaha, because your best investment starts right here. Is the captain going to catch one? Nope. Mikey. Bring my back up. Where's my back up? Where you at, Mikey? Step in, pinch hitter. Better go to the back. Be careful. Stay in the boat. Whoa, Mikey, you picked a big one. All right. Luck, we'll take it. Lucky right, shot, better than no shot. Work. Come on up this way, buddy. You all right? Yep. Looks like you got a little flexing going on. You look like a baby Hulk. Are you? I'm going to bet you this hook is just sticking hook in the left. Oh, my God. Oh. He's not happy. Well, I'm glad I brought you. <laughs> so, Stace, tell me, is it reasonable to think that you could find a big school and have that school stay with them all day? We've hooked 12 fish today. Do you think they've been out of the same school or have been a variety of different schools? I think uh, all with this last fish, we're, we're definitely out of the same school. Um, this, these, these fish were coming a little quicker and uh, the first school we had crossed the bar and kind of changed what they were doing. Went down, weren't rolling as good. Water's a little bit murky, but all with this last one here was out of the same school, and the fish have been doing really good by, you know, staying on top, going slow. You pull one out, you go back around. You know, we know they're going south, so we'll go back slowly south until we find them again. Just keep doing that same thing. Like I said, as long as you, as long as you can keep them happy, they'll keep you happy. Slow down, fish. Nice big fish. Looks like the line is under him. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I felt it go on his fins a couple times and stuff like that. All right. That's it. Pull him backwards. Get out of there, fish. Need some help, Mikey? You I'm all good right? for now. We're good? Okay. Doing good, doing good. There you go. 
Don't get it. He's getting close. Hang in there. Pull left. He's getting close. Pull left. Pull left. Pull left. He wore through the leader? I don't know. But you didn't do anything wrong, I know that. <laughs> How do those fish sit there and stay? Yeah, shake the, shake the hook. Yeah. You gotta get me some of that leader, Murph. Invisalign, dog. I got some in my truck. God. Good job, Mikey. You got a little bow on him, you just shake your leader. That was some good stuff right there. You know, to see a little man pulling on a fish that literally probably 40 pounds, I would say somewhere between 35 and 40 pounds over his body weight, and he just loving life. That's really yeah. what this is about, passing it on to the next little guy. In southwest Florida, Sarasota, fishing off right, the right, famous right. beaches the for the huge schools of giant tarpon with Captain Rick Murphy, Captain okay, Stacy Caps, and the young Mike Vanetti. What a way to go, and what a way to make for another great sportsman's adventures. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at www.sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. Oh, you gotta eat it again. Recap. Oh, you, you almost. Did. There it is. He's hooked. Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by Contender Boats, Costa Del Mar, See What's Out There, ARCD Hookers, Trigger X, Suffix Lines, Hook and Tackle Sportswear, Loop Reels, The Fish Grip, Get Your Best Grip, Lumber Rock, The Last Deck or Dock You'll Ever Buy, Ameritrail, Custom Trailer Manufacturers, and by Screen Print Plus, when image matters.